crazy. Books are going to be up literally the entire time. Literally the entire time, we're not going to have an issue. Oh my god. The only issue that we'll have is that we can't... That we don't do enough damage to kill them. We're, li we're literally unstoppable. Literally unstoppable. This is insane. Holy smokes. The pumpkins are freaking sweet too, though. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lotus here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. As you can see, the screen looks a little different. There is currently a Halloween event going on, um, or Halloween theme. Um, the cool thing is, we're going to play Blood, but we're going to play Blood on Helheim because you, you can get a special uh, unlock with him. I mean, you'll be able to get it after the event is over as well, but uh, just to showcase it, we can get it today. Um, while also trying out blood. Um, there's also, I think, five new relics that are themed around Halloween. You can turn the Halloween relics off, but during the event you will be getting more... Uh, the Halloween relics will be popping up more often. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying the content, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts. I do really appreciate it. And uh, tap that notification bell to get notified when a new video is live, as I do upload every single day. But without further ado, let's jump right on into this. So we're going to jump at, right on in with Blood. Uh, he vital energy of his enemies to survive. He'll lose health over time if he doesn't feed on them. When an enemy dies, it has a 5% chance of releasing its vital energy. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with Energy Rod. That just seems good. Uh, we're going to jump right on into Helheim. So our spooky uh island and uh yeah let's see what we got going on here for our first time so his life drains while okay this is gonna be interesting so his life drains over time okay okay um let's see this is gonna be interesting let's open up this so we got a bat it looks like so okay uh, when you heal red hearts, you have a 25% chance of improving a random stat. For seconds, stats can be stacked. Okay. Of healing an extra half red heart when healing a red heart. Absorbs the enemy's vital energy, dealing little but fast damage. Uh, books fly around you. Interesting. Your attacks have a, to apply fear. Uh, your attacks have a chance to apply bleeding. Ooh, both of those are pretty good. Some bats that fly around you. Create a huge energy burst that consumes all the red hearts except for one. For each heart consumed, the damage increased by 100%. When killing an enemy, you will have a 5% chance of creating a subtle essence that will return you some health. So, we want to get maxed out red hearts, it seems like. When you lose red hearts, you will create a cloud of lavender essence beneath you that damages enemies that enter. Okay, that seems pretty good. Lose red hearts, you will throw three projectiles, damage increased by two plus four for each half red heart. Holy cow, that's insane. And then Vampire Fang. Okay, sweet. So yeah, let's juice this bad boy up. Um, damage and attack speed just seems ideal. Uh, now that we got you, um, I think uh, damage and projectiles would be ideal if uh, we can land on it. Okay, whatever. I'll take that. Um, that's a pretty good one. Um, that's a pretty good one. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's uh, do this thing. Um, yeah, we're going to have to kind of do a loop around because, yeah, we don't have a whole lot going on here. We may have to scrap this section for the time being um, as it is a little harder to get going. Yeah, we almost had it. Um, cool, we got it. Okay, sweet. So even though we almost died there. Um, we, we do continuously heal, though, by, um, consuming the life force, which is good. Consuming the life force. So let's run up here, grab our... Ooh, that's a good one. We'll grab that for sure. Uh, we'll heal up some. Uh, nothing of value over here for right now. Definitely a little harder, um, right now since we don't have any points into anything. 
Uh, that's a red, two empty red heart containers. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's do some of this real quick. Projectile speed probably is something that we should really invest into. Um, I like this one. Uh, and then let's do you, and then let's roll. Okay, that should work for now. Um, boom. Okay, ooh, that was close. I healed up just in time. Souls one, I think I'm gonna pass over for the moment. Um, actually, we might be able to... Yeah, there's too much going on right there. So we're gonna pass over that for the time being. Uh, I really want this guy. If we can survive to get it. Holy crap, I can't believe we just bob and weave through all of that. That was actually kind of insane. Luckily, we were able to heal up a bit there as well. So we're looking, we're looking okay. We are looking okay. Um, I do want to make my way over to the free relic that we can get. So let's do this. Um, let's roll. Roll. I'll take that. Okay, I don't have enough. If an enemy dies, there's a 25% chance of it exploding, dealing 11 to 12 damage. That's pretty good. Okay, let's grab that. Um, okay, we didn't take any damage there, which is kind of insane. Not quite sure how that worked out, but hey, it worked out for the better. Ooh, okay, well, we're not going to take our free relic because that's the gold one. That is the gold one. <clears throat> it does look like uh, we got this guy as well for another empty red heart. That's pretty cool. It's just getting the red hearts is kind of the issue right now. So we'll heal up. We'll come back up here, see if we can get a couple more uh, souls going on into this guy. Looks like we get two blue hearts. Kind of uh, defeats the purpose of what we're uh, running with um, on blood. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's GTFO. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll heal a bit. Probably make our way up to the gold mine. <clears throat> see what we got going on up there. And then, uh, yeah, we'll loop around and see what we got happening. The continuous healing, though, is kind of nice. Um, definitely want to, of course, try and probably juice that up a little more. But uh, we'll, get, we'll get there and hopefully do time. Hopefully do time. Let's grab that. There is a chest down below. Lots of gold as well that I wouldn't mind uh, trying to pick up. Um, but we, we need to start investing some points into some other stiffs. Uh, what do we got over here for the, uh, whatchamacallit? I haven't checked out what, what's over here yet. Oh, what is that? I have no idea what I... Oh, it was like a lucky roll thing. Interesting. That's kind of weird. Cool. We'll have to check that out uh, in a minute. Um, got a lot going on. Let's uh, juice you up as well as coming down here and juicing you up. Definitely want damage and projectiles. Um, don't have enough for that, but that's okay. We'll grab a point into you. Books fly around you. Oh, we can get both, so that's okay. Um, chance to apply fear or chance to bleed? Hmm, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. So, books flying around us. This is just like the fireballs, which is good. Um, because we definitely got a lot of stuff near us, so being able to wipe that stuff out is kind of huge. Kind of huge. Um, so we're looking pretty good there. Nothing too crazy. Um, definitely getting overwhelmed, but we should be able to heal up quite a bit with the, uh, the energy staff. So we're doing pretty good there. Doing pretty good there. Okay. Yeah, we'll continuously keep healing. We're doing good so far. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Last one is like way out here, which is that snowflake. Boom, got it. Sweet, easy piece of lemon squeezy. Got the stone. Nothing, nothing too crazy. What do we got going on here for the last one? Ooh, that's actually a huge one because that's experience. Experience is always huge. Plus 50 experience gain. That's actually a massive one. Let's jump back over here. Let's dump just a bunch of points into this. More projectiles, of course, as well. Damage also would be pretty good to uh, stack up, but more projectiles is just... Uh, more superior right now so definitely take that we definitely want to max this out as well um and yeah we got a, we got a lot of damage uh, going on it look, does look like more projectiles means uh wider uh area going on here so nothing too too crazy but we're looking okay so far 
critical projectile speed for the books. That's actually kind of huge. <clears throat> we may also take uh, damage area, area maybe as well. Area is always a good one. Um, it does look like some of the characters might have a little bit of a different uh, look to them. Like the the flies have the uh, orange hoods and whatnot. So a little bit of Halloween esque. You got the pumpkins and whatnot floating around, which is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Uh, yeah, we'll come down here, we'll get this snowflake, and then we'll get the one that's just outside there. Should be able to get both of those. That's pretty good. We'll come up here, we'll grab this um, gold, and then, yeah, we'll make our way back over toward the soul, since we should be able to deal with that now. <clears throat> Hopefully we can make our way down to the chest and get the rest of that as well. Um, yeah, we got that pretty quickly. Grab this chest. We need to make our way down here to the southeast there. Um, let's go cool down. Cool down will be pretty good. I'm, I'm going to probably take some damage because I, I, I really want to try and bum rush us to get down there to be able to pick up all that gold. I'm not going to worry about picking up the uh, mirror yet just because um, picking up the mirror, yes, that would be nice, but uh, we don't have the gold to maximize it right now. Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay, cool. So the moth has a uh, Halloween base uh, thing going on. That's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully we don't kill it too quickly since we are trying to make our way down to the south here um, to pick up what 10 11 gold plus uh, the chest so we're running from the moth doing an okay job right now um, this is our third time picking this up which is kind of crazy uh, oh we got 10 on the mine as well we could have went the other direction and we would have got there a lot sooner so, okay, we're starting to kill the moth, which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. So we need to be careful that we don't uh, we don't kill the moth. So let's let's just take a quick breather here for a second. Um, damage is pretty good. Cooldown though on the books seems pretty pretty gnarly. That could definitely help us out quite a bit. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take that. Um, still need to make our way down to the south here. I still don't know what that does. Um, I think it just gives us lucky rolls. Where is this 10 gold at, man? I feel like I've been traveling south for forever. We're about to cross the mine again. No shot it was here the whole time. No freaking shot. Okay, I think we're okay to take out the boss now. I'm not too, too worried about this. Um, yeah, there we go. Easy piece lemon squeezy. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So we'll grab that, we'll grab this. Um, I don't know if crit would do much right now. I haven't seen any of the, ooh, two full red heart containers. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, let's grab you. Golden Noki, okay, let's see. Lucky coin grants plus one luck for 10 seconds. But we're not doing anything with luck. I'll take the cooldown relic. Although I don't know if the health going down will affect that. Cause like we're not getting hit. And we can we can experiment with it. Take damage, take cooldown. We'll roll. Oh, I should have took the ring. Ooh, the pumpkin. Summon pumpkins that explode on contact with an enemy or at the end of their lifespan. But well, we're gonna take that because that's a new relic. We're gonna take area and damage. Uh, let's roll again. Can we get a no? But we do have this. The bat staff invokes bats that attack random enemies. Yeah, we're totally gonna take that. Um, cool. Yeah, we'll have the bats come up here, wipe all that out, we'll run over here, grab this, bats wipe that out, we'll grab this, we'll roll, um, 10 gold and a 25, Orglo staff, no, one full red heart container, I'll take that, I'll take the area, I'll take that, I was hoping that we'd get a ring here, no ring, but we got a golden mushroom going on, so I'll probably spend a lot of point, or points into getting, a. Uh, that um so yeah we'll grab this we'll grab this this a lot of projectile speed which is pretty good there um i do want to get you uh you're looking good you're looking good bad so fear or bleed i think i'm gonna go with the i think i'm gonna go with the fear um get this i definitely want that as well but let's see, removes the cooldown restraint, books can now overlap. Holy smokes, that is insane. That is insane. Okay, sweet. 
Oh my god. Books are crazy. Books are going to be up literally the entire time. Literally the entire time, we're not going to have an issue. Oh my god. The only issue that we'll have is that we can't... That we don't do enough damage to kill them. We're, li we're literally unstoppable. Literally unstoppable. This is insane. Holy smokes. The pumpkins are freaking sweet too, though. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. The books... Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Love it. Absolutely love it. No issue is going to happen here. Alright, sweet. Lots of pumpkins going on. No, no issues whatsoever. Burn damage, I think, is a little... Uh, it's not going to really help us out a whole lot, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So we haven't gotten hit. I don't know if the cooldown... Uh, I don't think... I think we still have the cooldown thing. So I don't think that, like, shattered or anything. So... Dude, this is insane. Like, we can literally just walk around. I want, I want movement speed. I want to be able to just walk around and just shred the crap out of everything. That's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. Uh, projectiles, cooldowns, projectiles. I mean, pumpkins are already insane, so I'll just grab this. Um, let's run up here. Hopefully we can get one more point. Pretty done quickly, so we can grab this guy. Boom. Uh, we'll shred all that. Not that we really need this, but I'll take it just to have it. Uh, it looks like we got two of these guys, which is more burn damage. Okay. Interesting. I wouldn't mind getting the 200% experience pickup radius. That could be very good for us since we do have the plus 50% uh, experience gain. Um, so I wouldn't mind going that. This is just insane. I love this. Definitely, the books are, like, probably a superior freaking one to go. Especially if you ascend it. Like, holy shnikes, dude. This is awesome. This is flipping awesome. I love it. Heal 313 times. Red hearts with blood. We unlock the human uh, skin with him. That's pretty cool, I guess. I guess. We'll run over this direction. See if we can get uh, this one, whatever this one may be. Uh, while also picking up some gold. Oh, there it is. There's that pickup radius, that attraction, man. I'll take that any day of the week, baby. Attraction fossil. Give it to me. Give it to me. Pumpkins are doing freaking work, dude. Holy smokes, man. We got that super darn quick. Uh, yeah, we'll run over here. We'll run up to the mine, see what we got going on. It'd be nice to try and get uh, 200 gold, but um, I don't know. We're not getting enough gold drops to really see that happen, so... Fortunately, I don't think that's going to happen this run, but I do want to pick up the um, fossil, no matter, not the fossil, the mirror, no matter what. Holy smokes, that just blew up that entire darn uh, thing going on there. Uh, yeah, let's get you going. Okay. I mean, we already lost the, uh, whatchamacallit, so I'm not too, too worried about what's going on right now. Um, yeah, we'll just run down around through here. Wipe a lot of this out pretty darn quickly. No no real issues going on. Um, oh, wait, now it broke. Okay, interesting. It didn't break the first time because we had Astrid's uh, shield, but it did break the second time. Okay, not the end of the world, whatever. It is what it is. Our cooldown still overlaps, so I'm still pretty happy about that. Uh, let's go Let's go more projectile speed, because why the heck not? Um, I don't know if our energy staff is considered... A projectile. I think it's just a continuing, uh, like, life steal. So I don't think it is, but that's okay. Two enemies left. I have no idea where they are unless they're the bosses. They're probably the bosses. Yep. Um, maybe it's this guy over here. Yeah, sure was. Sure freaking was. Yeah, we'll grab all that gold there. We'll grab 16 here. We got 42 points, up to 95 gold. Lots of bosses over here. We'll wipe all them out. Nothing too crazy. Come down here, pick up the damage. Um, more bosses there. Yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Probably move our way down here towards the um, attack speed shrine. Pick that up. 
see what we got going on. Maybe come up here, pick up this 10 gold, and then head on down to the uh, to the mirror, try and pick that guy up, see what we got going on there. Hopefully we can make some decent uh, decent progress. Um, we're sitting around four, uh, 108, which will put us up to 216, which isn't too bad, but more the merrier, you know, more the merrier, the better off we'll be. So every little bit of gold that we'll, we can get, I'll pick up, uh, even if it's just one onesie twosies here and there. Uh, not the end of the world. If we can get some fives or tens, that'd be pretty nice as well. But we're not going to get those unless we uh, find some crates around here, which I don't want to uh, stroll off too far from what we're looking at. Uh, we did get that, the, the goblet, so we do have an extra rebuy, which is pretty sweet. Uh, plus two gold. We're up to 120, so that's 240 right there. That's not too bad. Uh, we will be able to max out the gold here in a second if we can get uh, three more gold. That'll bump us up to 250 once we pick up the mirror. Uh, it looks like we do have uh, this guy, which is pretty cool because he also has the skin. So let's uh, make our way down here and pick up our fancy old mirror. Boom, 245. Not too bad. Of course, uh, this guy is healing and is immune right now, which is super annoying. Uh, but let's jump over here real quick. Uh, let's get some of this going. We'll grab you. We'll grab you. We'll grab you. Uh, let's roll, get that damage projectile going. Uh, that works for me. Uh, we'll max out attack speed as well since we have it right here. Uh, let's max out damage also. Um, I do want to get this because this is insane. Um, I do want to get this as well. Summons is a big one. I definitely want as many summons as possible um, going forward here. Uh, but before we do that, let's grab this. Um, when you lose hearts, you'll create a cloud of lavender essence beneath you, damaging enemies. Okay, or you'll throw projectiles. I think I'm going to go with the projectiles one for right now. We got area as well. Um, let's max out, try and work towards maxing out cooldown. And I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. So yeah, books, massive. Books are huge right now. So not too worried about that. So we did get that. Sweet. Um... Yeah, we'll grab the Ascension Crystal. We'll grab both of these. Snowball, I don't think I'm going to grab. Um, gold, no. Re heal, I could. Turns regular enemies, no. We've only came across two of the Halloween relics. There is a total of five. Uh, we'll grab both of these. Um, I definitely want you. Take you. I forgot what this does. Toss the coin towards a nearby enemy. If it's heads, it will explode. Eh. Let's roll. Let's grab both of these. I see one full red heart container. I really like my movement speed, so I don't really want to take that. Um, nothing crazy there. Both of these. There is one full red heart container. Uh, I'll grab this. Why not? Then we'll roll. Then we'll roll, baby. Let's see what we got happening here. Um, projectile speed is insane and it's legendary. So I'm totally going to take that. Um, once again, nothing here. Value. Uh, I'll take the damage and then we'll roll. Still nothing, nothing great, man. Nothing great at all. Uh, projectile speed again. Let's go area on pumpkins. Um, I'll take that. More damage. Why not? Um, it's not a projectile. Area. Damage. Uh, I'll grab this also. Why not? Why not? More pumpkins. Crit. More projectiles. Let's go more pumpkins. Why not? Nothing. Maybe crit I'll grab. Our crit is sitting at 38, so not too bad. Um, this and this. And yeah, let's uh, let's go do this thing. Um, let's grab more cooldown, I guess. I, I wouldn't mind. I, I do want to reroll this to get more summons. Um, what do we got here? Partner calling. Each time a bat is summoned, there's a 30% chance of summoning a partner. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like that's the only thing that we can really do. So yeah, let's grab that. Why not? So now we got three unlocked. The only thing is, is this one here is the only one that we won't have an ascension on. Cool. Unless we get the connector one, which who knows? Who knows? Uh, we'll see. We will see. Books are absolutely absurd. Pumpkins are massive. So yeah, we're looking insane there. Um, we'll grab this guy because why the heck not? More projectiles. 
I think more projectiles means more healing. Um, okay, yeah, I see all the bats now. Um, critical duration summons. Let's do more damage on that. Um, I can't tell. I think I can kind of see the projectiles. I think they're red. Um, I do want to try this out. Oh, that just... Okay, interesting. It's a very low cooldown. It does use all of our hearts. Um, interesting, though. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, we'll grab this. Uh, goal is to pick up as much gold as possible, so we can just... We do have the golden Noki, so I gotta remember that. Uh, going into the final, uh, final wave. So if we can max out our gold, that'd be pretty sweet. More the merrier. Uh, seven for those. Okay. Run over here. We'll grab this guy. Why not? Heal up a bit. We'll run over here. We'll grab... Uh, let's run over to this. Get this going first. Um, random stat. Okay. Hopefully it gives us, like, damage. Cooldown. Um... Dang, we killed that super quick. I, I mean, I don't really know what I want. Movement speed would be kind of gnarly. Like, if we got, like, 30% movement speed, that'd be kind of insane. Um, I mean... Hmm, let's see here. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Area, projectile speed, they're both pretty good. Um, I'll go area. Might as well make the pumpkins bigger, huh? I mean, it makes the pumpkins bigger. I don't know if it makes the explosions bigger. I mean, the explosions are pretty big. So, I think we're doing kind of good there. We'll see, though. We'll see. We will see! Um, let's grab more attack speed to hopefully heal more. Hopefully. This is a big one because it takes, uh, like 200, I think, to clear this out. 34. Uh, there's definitely more than 34 yellow dots on the map. I hate to tell you that, man. Hate to tell you that, but there definitely is more than, uh, what you're asking for. Okay. Uh... Let's go summons for the bats. Still looking good, no issues. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Lots of gold flowing about, which is always kind of good. Uh, we do have a gold ring that just dropped, which is pretty massive. Um, something over here. Okay, there we go. Gold ring is huge because then we can pop that, pick up all the gold that has dropped. Uh, we do have an Ice Heart, it looks like. Too bad that is the next map. Um, but we'll pick it up. We will pick it up. Grab this guy, because why the heck not? Bounces. Uh, sure, let's grab Bounces. I don't know. Maybe the bats will bounce? Maybe? We'll try it. We just crossed 100 gold. There's 10 over there. I'm making my way down here toward this Frozen Heart. Um, there. Oh, this one. Scythes will spin and damage all enemies in their past. This is the third relic that we shall see. Um, I don't know about the other two, as we haven't came across them quite yet. But yeah, we got this pretty darn quickly. So now we're gonna probably head out here in a second. Okay, sweet. Uh, I'm gonna head over here. Um, more projectiles. That's always a good one. I'm going to try and make my, my way up here to... Okay, well, this just dropped 10 gold there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it before the boss. Okay, I did. Like, we're at 136. Like, we're going to have a good chunk of gold going into the uh, boss room. Good chunk of gold going into the boss room. Which not be an issue at all. Um, damage. Let's go damage. I feel like more damage it will be better going into the fight in the boss. Okay. 
Looking good. I'm not really too worried about this. Yeah, I'll pop that. Get a good amount of gold going. Um. So let's max you out. Let's max you out. Let's max area out. Let's max this guy out, but I definitely want summons. Okay. That's a good one. Sweet, so we got all that maxed out. We could go pumpkins. Damage projectiles is a good one to go. Okay, damage and summons is a good one to go. Uh, projectiles, damage projectiles. Okay, cool. So we got all that. <clears throat> we could get rid of this. Um, let's grab all this over here. Come over here, let our bats destroy all that. Uh, we'll grab you, we'll grab you. Duration, I don't think we need. I don't think we need duration, but like, I think we're okay for what we're doing. Um, critical, damage, summons. Let's go summons. Uh, let's grab all of this attack speed. Um, let's roll... Let's grab cooldown, damage, and then let's go in. So we have that at least 100% increased damage. I forgot that we had the golden Noki. Um, we're going to probably kill her super quick. So I'm not really too worried about it. Books are just insane. Yeah, books are wild. Books are wild. And we absolutely shred these things. So yeah, she's dead. She's dead. That, that was just insane. You know, if y'all ended up enjoying this, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts. Do greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure you guys tap that bell notification. Get notified when a new video goes live as I do upload load every single day. You guys don't want to miss out. We did unlock Eerie, uh, Conquering Hellheim in normal mode or higher with blood during Halloween, which got us that uh, Halloween skin superior ring. Hellheim in hard mode or higher with blood. Use uh, Vadimicum of Vampires nonstop Ascension. Super good. Looks like it throws paper everywhere. It's use energy rod. Explosive dance ascension. Uh, use the bat summon partner calling ascension. Cool. Sweet. So yeah, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty easy. Got two mastery points there. So not, not bad at all. Uh, let's jump back in here. See what we got going on here for mastery points. So plus one red hearts. If you don't have enough energy to dash, you can consume a red heart to do so. Ooh, interesting. And then we got all these damage ones. Um, I do like the book. I think the book is going to be one that it happens every single time just because the way the layout is but uh yeah we'll do that for now um losing health has a 30 percent chance of creating a book uh losing health has a 30 percent chance of creating a, an energy suction creating a bat and losing health has 30 percent chance of creating a new bite interesting interesting um uh, but yeah hopefully you guys ended up enjoying that we'll do moon fang in the next one uh we'll jump over here real quick do that uh we got two so we could get the last point here which might not be a bad idea for the duration getting the last two points um ultimate cooldown also could be pretty good um you know what let's do the last one here um just to get that out of the way and then next will be 20 there and then a lot of points going on down here so i might wait a little bit to stack up some leaves to be able to get more than one uh, upgrade there but once again i do appreciate y'all tuning in and watching hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one this has been nordic acid nordic acid nordic ashes and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out